Hello, my wonderful Geminis. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have the message, look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Okay. So Gemini, I'm getting a couple of uh, different messages here with that card. So firstly, what I'm, you know, seeing here is that there may be something about this connection, okay, that is triggering a, or it is bringing up some sort of suppressed emotions okay maybe even emotions that you're not fond of or they're not really feel good emotions right to say the least but it, this is about going within and saying well why do i feel this way right or what is causing me to view this person in this manner or the situation in this manner for others of you on the flip side <clears throat> It could be that you are, you know, feeling very connected to someone, but there's some, some sort of like an emotional or mental block that you're trying to heal. Whether it's you feel like this is too good to be true, whether it's you feel like that, you know, you're not deserving of this, right? And again, it doesn't mean the situation has to be negative, even though for some of you that may be the case. It's just more so about why do I feel this way? There's some sort of an emotional block that you're in the process of healing. So it could even be something that you have experienced in the past and you are maybe projecting that onto your current situation, even though it doesn't mean that you have to be doing it intentionally. I hope that message came through clearly, but it's something about, you know, going within and realizing maybe why you feel the way that you do. And this is also clarity that you have within you. It's not really clarity that you're, you're going to gain from, you know, a friend or this person here. So let's see. So we have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck and we have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, there's a very stuck energy here. An Eight of Swords is a mentally stuck energy where you feel very restricted. Okay, so this person could be offering you something new or, you know, you're you're connecting with this individual here. But with the Eight of, eight of Swords, there's something that is causing you to feel very restricted in this bond. Okay, it could be the past with this person. It could just be your past, something you've experienced personally, right? But Eight of Swords is usually when, you know, there's some sort of negative thoughts that you're feeding into or it's very like this or that thinking where you feel like, well, this can only work this way or, or things only happen, you know, that way for me. So I don't really believe that it's going to be different. So there's some sort of a mental block that you feel uh, when it comes to this connection. So I'm going to start off by seeing how you're being viewed this week ace of swords you kind of, you know, um, revealed some sort of truth to this person or you were just speaking your truth, okay? That's what's coming through this week because this person is viewing you as they're becoming very clear about what it is that is affecting you or what you want in this bond. There's something about your truth that is being illuminated here, okay? Um, they're also viewing you or the situation as there has been a breakthrough or they can sense that there is about to be, but this has a lot to do with something that you've communicated on your end, okay? We have the death card, okay? Some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio, the nine of cups,
The Death card and the Nine of Cups in the challenge position, it's kind of an interesting energy because your person here feels like there has been a shift, right? The death card doesn't always have to be an ending, guys. It could be when you're connecting with someone, but you can energetically sense that something has changed where it's like, okay, we don't speak to each other the same way, or we're both a little bit frustrated, but we're not bringing up what we're upset about, you know, that kind of energy. Um, and then as far as the nine of cups goes, like it's someone viewing you as you make them very happy. They are viewing you as wish fulfillment, but they're wondering if this there's a shift that has happened in this bond, okay? A. And B, they're wondering if this is urging them in the direction of needing to focus on themselves or go within, or is it about, you know, uh, fixing something with you? Is it about finding a solution here? So they do have emotions for you, but they're also trying to realize what this is teaching them about themselves. And the death card is this person realizing that there has been a shift, there has been a change, and it could be, you know, an awakening when it comes to the death card as well with the nine of cups, like, okay, I need to wake up and do what makes me happy, or I need to wake up and actually go after, you know, this connection or do something about it so that it doesn't just pass me by, you know, that kind of energy. So the way that you're viewing them, ace of wands, wow. You feel very passionate about this passionate about this person, but there's like a question of if something in the past is going to um, happen again, or there's something that you're very fearful of experiencing again. And again, hear me out. I can read this many different ways, but for some of you, if it's someone that you're newly connecting to, you're going within and you're starting to ask yourself, you know, why am I so fearful or why am I not allowing this person to get to know me on a deeper level? Is it because of my past? You know? Is it because of something that's going on within me, which is what I what I see because it's a persistent message? Because you're very excited, you're very um, attracted to this person, there's a lot of passion, but then there's like this questioning here of, you know, is this for me or is something in the past going to be, you know, uh, is, is it going to be occurring again? Because that's not what I want. Hmm. What's going on in your feelings, the chariot? Some of you may have cancer placements, the Hierophant. We have Taurus energy. You could be dealing with one. Seems to me that you're ready for a commitment. You know, um, Chariot and the Hierophant is, you know, being ready to move forward, um, you know, wanting or accepting both sides of, you know, uh, the story. So you could be, um, or, you know, you're accepting this person's perspective and you're acknowledging yours as well. There may be some sort of differences. You seem ready for a commitment, but there are, there's still a little bit of a doubtful energy here under that. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Moon card. Yep. There is a question of whether, you know, we have double nines. There is a question of whether you should be investing in this situation or should you keep to yourself and enjoy your singlehood? If it's someone that's fairly new, it could be that you're still moving on from something in the past or you feel like um, you're not like completely open to trusting this person or the situation um, as of right now right now if it's someone that you have history with then you're definitely doubting you know is this going to end before it even gets started or i still remember what happened in the past so i'm not sure i want to um you know invest in this but i feel like it has a lot to do with something that you're suppressing here gemini and i'm not saying that you know you you, you know there this person doesn't have any faults or anything of that sort but there's definitely something that's going on within you because with the moon card, you know, there's suppressed emotions that are resurfacing, you know, in hopes that you can either, um, they can assist you to move forward in your healing or to move forward in this connection here. And it's interesting because we have the Hierophant as well as the Nine of Pentacles. Something in this connection, you may feel like goes against your character or your values. And that could be the reason why you're questioning whether this is a connection that is for you. Whether it's like an age gap, whether it's, you know, cultural factors or religious factors, you're kind of like examining it and saying, okay, is this something that's actually for me or am I going against what I truly believe in? Okay, <clears throat> we have the lovers uh, clarifying the death card and we have the six of cups. Okay. Yeah. 
you're really questioning reconnecting with someone. You know, Six of Cups is definitely like a past energy or someone that you have some sort of history with, even if it's been, even it, even if it has been like a brief meeting. But that's what wasn't making sense to me because as much as we have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, there's an uh, there's the Death card there, and then there's an energy of do I want to dabble in this or do I want to keep to myself? And the only other way that I can read it is if you do not have history with this person, somehow a past relationship is impacting your ability to invest in this current relationship. There's something about your past that's coming through very strongly and it's resurfacing in your emotions. It's causing you to think very thoroughly about the decisions that you make in love. It's causing you to think more deeply about what it is that you want when it comes to a partnership. You know, is it someone that aligns with uh, you in terms of having the same values as you? You know, um, are you willing to, you know, uh, step out of your comfort zone when it comes to, you know, relationships? Like there's a very deep introspective period that you're going through this week. And with the lovers, you know, the decision may, may be yours. The ball may be in your court. This is someone who feels like things just flow with you, right? Not only do they feel like you make them very happy, there's something that um, about this person feeling like this connection is very easy because nothing feels forced. So it almost feels like it's destined to be for this person. What's in their feelings? The queen of swords. Okay. And the king of swords. Wow. Okay. This is definitely someone you had a falling out with. Because, you know, it's a little, like, I'm getting kind of mixed messages here, right? But Queen of Swords and the King of Swords and their feelings is, you may have been in a higher level of commitment with this person, okay? And that could be symbolic for, you know, going through a separation or a divorce. But they're viewing you as someone that they had a falling out with, but they still view you as someone that they're still very connected to. They still think about you, think about you. And even though there has been a separation, they still think about what could have been. They still feel like no one mentally stimulates them the way that you do. They still feel like the connection that you guys have is something they cannot deny. Now, on the flip side, is there some sort of frustration that they're holding on to? Yes. Do they feel like you're upset with them? Yes. And do they feel like they have a right to be upset? Yes. So they, they so there is a mirroring energy here, or so that is how they feel because I see it in their feelings. But this is someone who feels like, yes, there has been a falling out or a separation, but I haven't moved on. I'm upset for how things have happened, but I'm still thinking about you. You know, I'm upset, I'm frustrated, but I still want to be with you because everything just feels right with you. This is someone who's tried to move on, Gemini, okay? They've tried to move on. They could have tried to date other people, but, you know, it's just a very irreplaceable energy when it comes to the connection that they share with you. And, they, and you know, when you have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords, they really want to have a truthful conversation with you. Um, even though they're upset, they can sense that there's some sort of frustration on your end, or you're questioning whether you want to invest in this connection or not. Um, but you know, this is a very like problem solving energy. Like, let's get to the bottom, bottom of it. I know we're upset at each other, or I know that we're not fond of, you know, how things have ended, but let's talk about it. Cause this person has tried to forget about you or try to move on and they can't. And so you know, they're feeling drawn to you. They're feeling guided in your direction here. We have the three of wands in their feelings, okay? And we also have the two of swords. They're not really sure where this is headed, but that's what they want to talk about. Three of wands is someone who's still fixated on the future of this connection. They're still viewing this connection as, no, there is a future here, or this is not finished. It may, you know, we may have been in a separation or things may have ended a little abruptly in the past, but I want to put this together. The two of swords is someone who's in between worlds right now because they're not sure how you feel, A. And B, there could even be a, like a little bit of confusion where they're like, ah, I don't really know where this is headed or I don't really see things clearly. But that's why they want to have a conversation with you. It's like from the point of the separation until now, Gemini, this is someone who has been at a crossroads. It's like, even though there has been a separation, they have still been focused on you and going back in your direction. And then they've also been focused on, do I need to move on or do I need to leave this behind? And I was picking up on that with the death card and the nine of cups. Someone who's like, you know, is this officially over and do I leave it behind and just move on? Or do I come back to find a solution? And it seems to me that they want to find a solution. 
my apologies guys i didn't realize that i had um stopped recording here but you know they want to find a solution here i feel like this is someone who may struggle who may have sorry struggled with communicating with you in the past but there is an energy of you know let's work this out and they want to speak about what they're confused about so we have the two of pentacles followed by the four of cups in the potential outcome what's the two of pentacles two of cups four of cups three of cups the Ten of Swords. It's someone who is not indecisive, but with the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Cups and the potential outcome, there's really this energy of going back and forth and saying, is this something that I really want? And again, I feel like there's some sort of decision that you're making because in your feelings as well as the lovers there, I feel like, you know, you could be figuring out, is this something I still want? Is this something that I, um, is still going to make me happy? Do I still feel the same way? Two of Cups lets me know that the emotions are mutual, so you still feel some sort of a connection. But there's still this energy of questioning. I don't really see it as you making a firm decision right away. And Ten of Swords and the Three of Cups is, you know, putting an ending to any sort of interference, or even if this person was indecisive in the past, they're putting an end to what was interfering in this connection. But there is a fear that you guys are not going to be able to get on the same page. And I'm not saying that the emotions are not there. Two of Cups means you guys still feel emotionally connected, but it's almost like you're making like a head over heart decision or you're trying to be more logical about things. And what I see on this person's end, they do want to work things out with you, but they want to have some sort of a truthful conversation. Like, where do we go from here? Or I know I still care for you, but is this something we can actually work out? And I feel like it would be a very mature conversation just because, you know, in the heart of the spread with the death card and the nine of cups, it seems to me that one thing in or one thing that's a bit similar between the both of you is you guys are wondering, is this really worth the investment? Should we be continuing this or, you know, did a separation happen for a reason and do we need to let this go? Okay. So my wonderful Geminis, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.